Alright guys, welcome to another video. This one we're going to be looking at moving uh, items from Photo Illustrator into Flash. So we're going to be designing a few designs in, in Illustrator and then move them over into Flash. And the idea is that we'll mock up all of our designs in, in Illustrator and then uh, incorporate some uh, animation and a few uh, basic interactions in Flash. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is have a look at the document that I've opened here. I've called it Snow White AI and here we've got a basic scene set up. So what we want to do is basically take these elements and move them into Flash. But before we do that then there's a, gr a cool couple features that we should take advantage of. Um, and the main one is that we can now move things into group into um, symbols in Illustrator before we take them into Flash. Um, and this will just increase our productivity. So it's the main reason why we want to do it. So the first thing that we want to get open is our symbols library. And mine's already open. You can see. Pop. There it is. These symbols are here from the previous. Yes, I'll delete those symbols. Previous go that I had. All right, so what we want to do first is grab this sign here. So I'm just going to double click to go inside the sign. And it's actually a good idea to not have your symbols grouped. So I'm just going to paste that in front. Um, grouping can be a little bit annoying when it goes from Illustrator to Flash. So I recommend that we, we don't group out, group our items. So I'm just going to grab this sign and pull it in. And I'll pull it sign, give it a name. I also want to make these trees here, leaves mainly. I'm what I've got, I've got an idea that when the mouse you mouse over that the leaves will shake a little bit. So I'm going to try to create that animation in Flash. So I'm just going to grab these leaves here. I call them bottom. Bottom leaves. Notice that I'm not giving it a space. I want to make sure that it's all one word. Put this one middle, mid leaves. And last one top. All right. We could also do the same to this second artboard. So. Um, or we could look to replace that movie clip. So I might do that in in Flash once we bring it in. But I do want to make these guys green apples. And red. Into a little movie clips. So I've now created quite a few movie clips. And I'm ready now to bring it into Flash. So I'm going to save my work and jump over to Flash. Then I'm going to open a new document. Yep, just make an Action Script 3 document. And I'm going to import to stage my Illustrator file. There it is. So I'll get a preview of the first one. Got our two different artboards there. I'm just going to choose the first artboard, and you'll see all the items and paths and bits and pieces that are used to make up this particular piece of artwork are there. I'm going to make sure that I've I set the stage to the same sta uh, stage size as my artboard. Okay, and they'll, they'll sort of like crop everything for me. I don't want to import our new symbols, and I definitely don't want to import it as a single bitmap. We want to make sure everything stays in the same place and we want to use flash layers. So let's just click OK to those. And right off the bat, if we hit Control Enter, my keyboard, great. We're seeing the scene that I cropped. Looks good. Don't have any interactivity yet, but we'll work on that. So and we can see here if we click on our sign and then go to the properties panel, it's called sign. So 
Photoshop, uh, Illustrator does do a bit of work for, um, making things a little bit easier for us. And if we click here, then we've got that. Bottom leaves all sorted out. Got our to mid leaves and top leaves. So we can add some actions now. And we'll just create a new layer, call it actions. And the first thing that we want to do is put a stop on here. So do that. Whoops. Okay. And we want to just test test our buttons to make sure everything's working. So an easy way to do that is to then find one of our movie clips. So I'll just choose sign. Click that. So if you forget the name, then you can still find your objects or your symbols that you've brought in. Dot button mode. No, you've got to make sure you've got a capital M. Equals true. All right, great. So if we save our whoops, week ten. You make a new folder for this week. 11 and I'll call this um, Snow White so now if we test our movie control enter and we mouse over yeah and I'll sign anywhere that we mouse over we should see the pointer come up to get butter mode truth so that's great okay let's do that for the other symbol as well so once again, we can go to this, mid leaves. You can add this, it doesn't matter, but I just prefer not to, I don't like this. So I just get rid of it. Mode is true. Uh, bottom leaves, there's another one. True, we've got a typo up there, they've got a fix. And top leaves. Got butter mode. Shame there's no hinting in flash for this. I'm hoping they'll increase the hinting in future versions okay so now that we've got those in there we can test our movie again control enter on the keyboard and we can see that already one of my properties is incorrect um, it's undefined so let's sort that out bottom leaf because I didn't call it leaves so that's the problem I missed the S so I might just fix it over here actually now if I do it, no, it still doesn't like it. Let's have a look at my code. Oh, thank you. And now, what's going on there? Copy that over. Oh, I'd missed the O. Oh, okay, how embarrassing. All right. Very good demonstration there, is it? Fix that up over right here, though. All right, there we go. Now it's all working, so we can mouse over all those elements. So that's good.